How fast can a small village grow into a massive town? In today's episode, we push the limits. We've expanded with a ton of new burgage plots, laid out blueprints for future development, and even started building a church. Plus, we've got new sheep and oxen to join the fun. Can we keep up with this rapid growth? Let's dive in and see. <laughs> you run out of storage then you're kind of screwed okay great here we go i've got many things i've got in store for you a lot of plans and the first one that i'm going hey we got a new family nice yeah that's gonna happen more often Woohoo! let's build this granary and put someone in there because we got the notification for the hunting camp that you not have enough space anymore so before we start building i kind of want to tell you what i want to do here so these two still need to be upgraded with carrots these five will be upgraded with chickens and then over here i kind of want to make sure that we have a ton of houses focused on goats and the reason I want to do goats is because I want to start producing hides. And with these hides, I will turn that into leather. So that is one of the requirements for the burgage plot upgrade. There we go. These will be upgraded with chickens. Our church will be here, tannery over there. And then we will put our manor over here. A fire broke out. What? Here? Let's see here. Okay, we need to get more money. What am I doing now? Now I'm just thinking ahead. Grow, city, grow. We need sheep. To get sheep, we need money. So how are we gonna make money? Let's see what we can trade. Another winter. Yeah, nice. I think we're doing great. We've expanded our town so much and we're starting to make money. We at least have, we should have one sheep. I don't have any sheep. No, where's my sheep? Hey, look everyone, we got our first sheep. Hey, this little lamb, what? It even has a name. Madalena is our first sheep and this is the start of our wool or yarn enterprise. We're gonna make a ton of money with this, with this sheep. And others but yeah hello <laughs> an approval rating of 60 percent that is amazing nice so all of these will do ale so we will put our manor in this area and church in this area i think our town looks absolutely great getting money for our sheep our first mining pit is exhausted okay demolish it so sad <laughs> Yes, our first goat upgrade. I like it. Woohoo! Church requires planks. We're making planks right now. Got enough planks for our church, which we're putting in here. Okay, so a lot of expansion. We've expanded this area with houses, burgage plots. We, we're starting with our church. We are building it. Uh, we got some extra animals from three oxen. We depleted the clay mine. We haven't started using the iron mine. And then we also depleted the stone resource that we had. We bought two sheep. There's one. And then the other one is hiding. Where's the other one? There's the other one. So this is Anna. So we did quite a lot in this episode. Let's quickly do our review, our rundown, our church being built over here. Great. Our marketplace is bustling. A lot of houses. Damn. There we go. That's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have. Then also, if you'd like, please join our membership page by clicking the join button below. If there is no join button, you can find both links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. With that being said, I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their names in the credit roll. If you want your name in the credit roll, be sure to become a member. So credit roll in three, two, one, go! Alrighty then, I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!